Now, India's premier space agency, ISRO, has achieved a breakthrough in forecasting of lightning events over India using data from the Indian geostationary satellites. The milestone has been achieved by ISRO's National Remote Sensing Center. And according to ISRO, the atmospheric lightning occurs due to the complex interaction of meteorological parameters under the influence of convective processes in the troposphere. The key drivers of these convective phenomena include surface radiation, temperature and wind. The researchers have also observed lightning signatures in the outgoing long-wave radiation data from the INSAT 3D satellite. The reduction in the outgoing long-wave radiation strength is an indicator for potential lightning occurrences. The near real-time observations from the INSAT series satellites were utilized to detect and to identify the signatures indicative of lightning occurrences. To further enhance the detection of lightning activity, additional parameters such as land surface temperatures and wind were incorporated in the development of a composite variable to improve predictive accuracy. Now, ISRO says that the developed composite variable effectively captures the variations in lightning activity observed by the ground-based measurements. It also provides a reliable indication of when lightning activity is likely to peak or subside, allowing for improved prediction of lightning occurrence and intensity. And we on Siddharth MP has sent us this report. Listen in. Teams from ISRO's National Remote Sensing Center have devised a unique method to predict lightning almost two and a half hours before it strikes. This is being done through a dedicated set of satellites known as geostationary satellites or weather monitoring satellites. These satellites are perched 36,000 kilometers above the Earth and they have a 24 7 bar 365 view of India and adjoining regions. These satellites sense a wide range of data and parameters. This includes land surface temperature and winds, and of course, one crucial parameter known as outgoing long wave radiation. The Earth absorbs a lot of solar energy and then it emits it back in the form of outgoing long wave radiation. So whenever there's a dip in outgoing long wave radiation, of course, other parameters are also monitored. And based on this, these teams are able to characterize when there will be lightning strikes. So this, of course, is a crucial method that can enable the prediction of lightning and also help in issuing advance warning and forecast with regards to lightning, like all other weather events. From Chennai, Siddharth MP, Vion, World is One. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.